is a special evening because it's the 175th anniversary of Patek Philippe, a very special brand. As you can see, there are more than 300 journalists here and we're going to find out why is Patek so special. It's a family business really and we are not focusing only on making figures but we are focusing on making something that nobody else can do and that's why it's so special I guess. For the last 175 years they have always um, stayed with their uh, heritage and I never left this one path they went, so I think it's very unique in the watch business. Classier than any company I know, and they honor their past and their future all at once. They're pretty remarkable. Because they're able to do the classical watches and bring it into the contemporary technologies and still not losing the track of who they were. And it's very interesting that the next step is coming from some of the guys who took the first steps in watchmaking. The question is very complicated, actually. Are you ready? Okay. okay, why Patek Philippe is so special for you? That is a complicated question. Actually, it's very simple. Um, the integrity of the brand uh, throughout its history, uh, the commitment to both quality and technological advancement, uh, but not purely for the pursuit of novelty. I respect all of those qualities. It's quite a difficult question. The heritage, the technical part, yeah, everything, everything. Yeah, everything. The prestige as well. Philip Stern makes Patek Philippe special. And everything that he's done for this brand, the positioning of the brand, the extraordinary museum, the incredible uh, rebirth of complication, because bear in mind in 1989, there was not complication in the market. It was Philip Stern who reintroduced the Minute Repeater, reintroduced the Perpetual uh, Chronograph, um, created the annual calendar. Philip Stern is what makes Patek Philippe extraordinary and he has passed along this uh, now to Thierry and now this brand has extraordinary equity but he is to me probably the single greatest living genius in watchmaking today uh, for what he's done with Patek Philippe. The entire industry truly does owe a debt of gratitude to Patek for pushing things forward. Patek Philippe is so special to me because it's, the, uh, it's where my, um, my love for watchmaking started thanks to my dad. You're happy to, to wear one you're happy when the, the, the date passes, you know, one day to the other, you hear the click of the watch and yeah, you're happy to have a Patek Philippe. Actually, I believe it's run by emotions, quality and uh, history. This unchanging way of changing, it's the anchor of our industry, Patek Philippe. It's the, it's the foundation of our heritage, in a way, the epitome of timelessness. Patek is, is family owned and they do things the way that they want to do. They don't have shareholders besides the family. They do exactly what they want to do and I, and I respect that. You feel like you're supporting something good when you buy a Patek. And I think that it's romantic. I mean, it's what, what luxury should be. It should be independent. Patek Philippe is one of those brands that uh, rather than trying to convince you to buy the watch, you have to convince them to let you buy the watch. That's certainly going to be true with the, uh, this extraordinary Goran Sonnery that we've seen tonight. Tonight you've presented something that obviously is kind of a baby for you. Well, it's a heavy baby. We started seven years ago, you know, thinking about one vision. This vision came from my dad, who, who was saying, well, you know, we should do a wristwatch. Don't try to make something even more complicated than the, the Calibre 89. We are willing to have a wristwatch who will be really a Grand Sonnery. This is what we don't have really in the collection. So everybody was agree really to do that. Maybe except the crocodile that we use for the strap, <laughs> but that's another story. And that's how we started really. And after that, we build up a team and we say, let's go. Now we have to find the IDs. The, the, the target was done. The design was something to find. And the idea is also how to improve the movement. That was something that we wanted to find. It took us seven years, but I think we did a good job in that. I guess so. Congratulations. Thank you. And sorry for the crocodile. Ha, ha, ha.